The Respiratory System by Anne and Ansel. Why do we breathe? We can store many different nutrients in our body, but we cannot store oxygen. Since we cannot store oxygen, we take it in all the time by breathing constantly. Breathing is the main function of the respiratory system. Also, our cells require oxygen in order to function. When you inhale, the oxygen enters through your nose or mouth, into your trachea, into the bronchial tubes and bronchioles, into the alveolar ducts, then into the alveolar sacs, and finally into your blood. The diaphragm is a dome-shaped muscle and tissue that is located directly underneath the lungs. The diaphragm separates the thoracic cavity that holds the heart and lungs from the abdominal cavity. When the diaphragm contracts downward, the volume of the thoracic cavity increases, allowing air to enter the lungs. When the diaphragm relaxes upward, the volume of the thoracic cavity decreases, allowing carbon dioxide to exit the lungs. The trachea, also called the windpipe, is located at the front of the throat near the esophagus. It is a very flexible tube so that we can move our head and neck while we breathe. The trachea is made of elastic tissues which allows the trachea to stay open during movement of the neck. The human trachea has a diameter of 25 millimeters and a length of 15 to 16 centimeters. At the end of the trachea, it divides into two main bronchi. We have two primary bronchial tubes in our lungs. The right primary bronchial tube separates into three secondary bronchial tubes, and the left primary bronchial tube separates into two secondary bronchial tubes. Then the secondary bronchial tubes divide further into tertiary bronchial tubes. Then the tertiary bronchial tubes divide into primary bronchioles, which then again divides into terminal bronchioles. Finally, the terminal bronchioles divide into 2 to 11 alveolar ducts. Alveoli are located in alveolar ducts. About 5 to 6 alveolar sacs are attached to one alveolar duct. An average human lung has over 480 million alveoli. They're like tiny sacs or balloons and inflate with inhalation and deflate with exhalation. They are surrounded by very tiny blood vessels that are called capillaries. Inhaled air passes through the alveolar walls and capillary walls into your blood. In these hundreds of millions of sacs, gas exchange occurs. Gas exchange occurs in alveolar sacs. Alveolar walls are usually one cell thick and moist, allowing gas exchange to occur. Inhaled oxygen spreads to the capillaries from the alveoli, and carbon dioxide spreads in the opposite direction and enters the alveoli. This carbon dioxide is exhaled. This is our bibliography.